So number one, if we plug in negative two, three, we get three times negative two. <coughs> times three equals six. Uh, that was negative six plus 12, is that equal six? Yes. Then if we plug three, negative two, and the other one, one minus negative two, yeah, that does equal three. So both of those are true, so that means, yes, negative two, three is a solution for the equation. What's different about number three. It's a greater than less thing. Yeah, it's an inequality. So negative two plus three, is that less than two? Yeah. Yeah, I believe it is. And then on the other one, negative two plus two times three is greater than or equal to four. Did I write that one right? Yes, I did. Okay. If I plug in negative 2, 3 there, that's 6 plus negative 2 is 4. Is 4 greater than or equal to 4? Yes. Yeah, so that one's a yes too. All right. Number 5. Graph. Who needs graph paper? Or did you guys just do it on your normal paper? Uh, all right. Jesse, why don't you grab like 5 and just a few. Pass them around. I guess someone around. Who was gone yesterday? Abby. Who else? It was just Abby. Just Abby. Abby. And Leah. Leah. Mallory. Mallory. We did. Uh, we worked on this yesterday. All right. Number five. Let's grab it. Uh, yeah. Let me go to the graph paper. Okay, so we're supposed to graph these. Right now they're in standard form, so we're gonna have to change it to slope intercept form. So get y by itself, I'm gonna subtract 2x. One minus 2x does not mix. But I'm gonna write negative two x plus one instead. On this one, you subtract x. Those don't mix. I'm gonna put the negative in front x in front of the negative twelve. Get rid of the three. I'm going to divide everything by three, all terms. Negative x over three is negative one third x. Okay. So go to the graph. Alright. This top equation, we're going to start up one since it says plus one. And where are we going to go? Down, down two. Down two, right one. Slope is negative two over one. <coughs> and draw some little line. You guys remember we also did inequalities on this chapter, at the end of the chapter? That's oh. like uh, 47 through 50, the last questions. That's when we did the shading. Okay, the other equation, we're going to start down four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go negative one third, so we're going to go down one, right three. Down one, right three. That's where they meet. Yay! Okay, the answer, remember, was where they met at. That was the common solution. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So positive three, negative five. Don't forget to put the answer. Check your answer by plugging in both of them, make sure, making sure it works. Okay. <coughs> Number 11. Don't need to drop paper anymore. Uh, now I've got to keep moving here. Number 11. 
Five x minus three y equals negative twenty five. And six x plus two y equals negative two. Yeah. Okay. Well, the uh, the I skipped seven and nine. <laughs> okay, that's not fine. I'll come back to it. I skipped seven and nine. Um, I'm in the wrong section. Yeah. All right. So elimination. That's where we want the x's or y's to cancel out. So five doesn't go into six, and two doesn't go into three. What do two and three both go into? Six. So what would I need to multiply my top line by to turn it this into a six? Two. What would I need to multiply my bottom line, my bottom line by to turn the y into a six? Three. Can I just do the opposite, right? So now the top line is this. Multiply everything by two, and the bottom line times three. The reason we did that is now when I add negative 6y plus 6y, the y's go away. But you need to add everything. 10x plus 18x is 28x. Negative 50 plus negative 6. Oh, are there any fractions? Did you guys find any fractions yesterday? 12 is a fraction. And 22. Did anybody make it all the way to 22? 16 is not a fraction. No. I think it's just 12 and 22. No. Okay, so I got x is negative 2. Um, I'm going to put that maybe right here. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Solve for y. You get y is five. Okay, if I'm going a little too fast, you might you guys might have to watch the video if you need it. Hopefully you kind of know these steps already and I'm not really not learning anything right now. That's the Okay, I skipped number seven and nine. I skipped that section accidentally. X plus two y equals four. Two x plus three y equals eight. Okay, substitution. Surprised they didn't start us with an easy one. Uh, usually you want it to say x equals or y equals. That way you can replace x or y. Which x or y would it be easiest to get by itself? Okay, this one. Because there's no numbers attached to this x, unlike these three, it would be easier to get that x by itself. All we would have to do that, that x by itself is subtract 2y. So I get x equals 4 minus 2y, which does not mix. Then we can replace x in the other equation with 4 minus 2y. So I'm going to rewrite the second equation. Distribute. Negative 4y plus 3y is negative y. Get rid of a positive 8, I'm going to subtract 8. Negative y equals 0. If I divide 0 by negative 1, I get 0. Okay. Uh, once you get y, let's plug it back here. Y is zero, four minus two times zero is 
is 4. So x equals 4. If you write it in ordered pair form, it would be 4, 0. We did a worksheet on Friday. You're going on Friday too, aren't you? Where you going on Thursday? I feel like it was Thursday a book assignment, I believe. So I kind of forgot. It was a long time ago. Um, all right. Number nine. 5x plus y plus a. Negative 2x minus 2y plus a. Three. <coughs> okay, which of these would be easier to get by itself? <coughs> this y, right? Nothing's attached. So all I have to do is get rid of the plus 5x by subtracting 5x. So y equals 8 minus 5x. You don't really have to have the x in front, that's more for graphing. 8 minus 5x or negative 5x plus 8, same thing. Okay, if y is equal to this, then I'm gonna change the y in the other equation to that. Uh, a lot of people get this problem wrong because they don't multiply both of those by negative 2. It's the negative part they get wrong. So, <clears throat> negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. Negative 2 times negative 5x is plus 10x. Uh oh, I see trouble. Trouble brewing. Negative 10x plus 10x is... Zero. So all I'm left with is negative 16 equals negative 3. What is that? <coughs> no solution. No solution. So if it's a nonsense statement, it's no solution. If it's a true statement like negative 3 equals negative 3, that's infinite solutions. All right. Did you guys get any weird answers on the evens yesterday? I think I see one. Ten should work out. Uh, uh, you made a mistake. Did you multiply the top line times negative three or the bottom line times two? The top or negative three. Okay. So you got six y equals thirty three on top. So if you multiply the top line times negative 3, the y's would be 6y equals 33. And then the bottom would just be y equals 16. You have those together. Now, you made a mistake. Let's try again. Okay, number 13. Use whatever method you want to. They kind of did half the problem for us on number 13 because the second equation just says y equals 1. So that's, that's really half the answer. So the first part is that. So if y equals 1, <coughs> then to find the x, we just need to plug 1. So 6x plus 1 equals 7. So if I subtract, I get 6x equals 6. Therefore, x is 1. And they told us y is 1. All right, on um, 15. Okay, they said solve whatever method we want. Uh, so, what would be an easy way to solve this? Yeah. 
multiply the top by negative four. Okay, how could I get rid of the y's though? If I multiply by negative one. Now the negative four thing would work also. Substitution would work. So there's not really like a right way to do it. I'm just kind of choosing the way I would do it. So uh, Luke said multiply by negative four. That would work. If you multiply by negative one, these just all switch signs. And that would get rid of the y's. So negative x plus 4x is 3x. 2 plus 4 is 6. So 6 divided by 3. If I put 2 back in there, it doesn't really matter if I use this one or the original equation. That should work both ways. That would be negative 2 plus y equals 2. I put 2 right there. Um, so anyway, yeah, y is 4. Put that right there. be a e good way to get rid of the good way to solve this one. Substitution. Got some substitution pins out there. Uh, I the only time I use substitution is if you have like an equation like that. Like x equals or y equals. Now if you prefer substitution, yeah definitely do that. Uh, I prefer elimination if it's in like standard form and standard form. Uh, so I would probably multiply by maybe negative two on the bottom for to get rid of the y's, or negative three would get rid of the x's. Guess I'll do that. Should I do substitution just to practice it one more time? good for the sun? Your saints? Because Mallory wasn't here to give her trouble. She actually said everybody was good, not specifically in this class, just in general. I was shocked. Okay, anyways, you guys are basically saints, right? Divide by 5, we get y is 19. That's a big number. Uh, our worksheets didn't have numbers that big, but the book is not the worksheet, so that is right. y is 19, and then I'll plug it right there, I guess. 3x minus 19 equals negative 31. Uh, yeah, our book is not as nice <coughs> as the worksheets are because our book gives fractions, like number 12. Uh, you do all the same steps, though. There's not really anything different. It's just fractions freak people out. So 31 plus negative 31 plus 19 is negative 12. Divided by 3.
There is a one weird answer in 13 through 22 that's No, I said in 13, in 13 through 22. No, I'll probably just let you guys work on this on tomorrow. But if I did that, I do still want to take the test on Friday, though. So if I did that, there wouldn't be as much test review. It should be the same thing as doing this stuff, really. But I, I feel like I'm okay with that. I think we're okay. Uh, let's... I'll finish this section, like your 22 section, and then if you guys have any questions on anything from yesterday or today or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 This one, 19 is actually one of the easy ones. Uh, because what could I do here? Right, if I add right now without multiplying anything, the y's go away. <coughs> so, they threw an easy one in there. 2x plus x is 3x, 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 divided by 3. Okay, so if x is 4, I'll put 4 right for x there. So 4 minus 5y equals 4. And to solve for y, I need to subtract 4, which is 0. 0 divided, don't put no solution. What's 0 divided by negative 5? 0. Okay, one more. This is a weird one too. Okay, uh, how can I get rid of my X's? If I multiply by negative 1, those would all be negative, and the x's go away, 3y plus negative 3y goes away, so I get 0 equals 11 minus 7, 4. So no solution. What would make it infinite solutions? Zero equals zero. Zero equals zero, or four equals four, or something like that. 22 is fractions. Answers, both of them. And 12.